Hey guys, back in here. I experienced this kind of problem and I want to see if I can uh, fix that. Um, if you add in a new solid state hard drive and you try to set up a new operating system and you come across this problem where setup was unable to create a new partition or locate an existing system partition, all that fun stuff. So what I'm going to do is that um, see if I can set this up as a primary drive as this is a solid state drive that doesn't necessarily be um, a uh, designated primary but I have one drive that's there for testing so I reformatted this drive it won't work and I hit next it will not do anything so I want to see if I can go through the BIOS so delete cancel it I'm going to go into the BIOS Okay, so it seems that I have limited options to choose from in terms of setting up which was a primary and secondary. Alright, so it seems that it doesn't like that my secondary that I want to put primary is set differently. And there's no way I can uh, swap it if I wanted to. So. What I'll be doing is that I'm going to swap these two um, internally and, uh, and come back from there. Hopefully it'll work. So I'm going to exit that and I'm going to turn it off by shutting it off. It's going to see if I can take that apart. Make sure you carefully, gently pull the power plug out. The adapter is very sensitive. All right, that, flip that upside down, remove the battery first. So let me see if I can just take this apart. All right, I'll just leave it out like that without the cage. It's gonna work without it. So if I add this down here, so it's gonna be up here. So this is this is where it needs to be installed. And I, all I wanna do is add an operating system on this drive only. So I'm just gonna lay that down, put in the enclosure without the cage. This is only for temporary. And then I'm going to load an OS. Alright. So much battery life I have left. Full charge. Great. Which means I don't have to add in the AC adapter. And then I'm going to force this as a primary operating system. I mean, this is my regular hard drive, not solid state. This is my secondary, 320 gigabytes. Okay, we are back. I just add in, I just put in the AC adapter so it can make, make it brighter. Hitting next, install now. I have a key for the ultimate edition. Except, mm, maybe I go with, uh, with, um, Professional.
There you go. Now you're able to install the operating system on your solid state hard drive. And if you come across that same problem with the partition, it is most likely that you have the drive on the wrong on a wrong secondary drive and it reads as a secondary or you check your BIOS it's not set up as a primary drive so anyways I hope this um, answers your questions on how to proceed um, going through with the, with the whole installation of the operating system anyways I hope you find this video helpful as I've seen many videos on YouTube about using disk partition tables and changing your solid state hard drive to a um, you know 500 gigabytes 500 megabytes going to one um, one directory to create a partition so you can transfer all your old operating system files over to the 500, 500 megabytes and you know just to make this thing work you don't have to do all that the whole point of this process is that the the computer has a tough time trying to read the solid state hard drive to read it as a primary so you want to force a primary primary on a solid state hard drive and that's how you get through this problem if it comes to a point where it is a primary and and it still cannot read it sure use that disk partition do the dos um this part and then you put in the whole process you know select the the disk select this zero and then you had to set the volume parameters to a format FS and TFS, all that stuff. Yeah, that's your last option. But for this, this is simple to um, to diagnose, and I'm sure that you guys are able to uh, figure it out. That uh, that you have to set the solid state to a primary in order for the operating system and the computer to read that it's a primary drive and then the operating system can follow through and reads it as a primary drive. So, anyways, I hope you find this video helpful. And uh, anyways, Packin' signing off. Peace.